Everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I'm here to review The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1. So, The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 has the returning cast of Jennifer Lawrence, Josh Hutcherson, Liam Hemsworth, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Julian Moore, and many more talents. And and the plot to this film is that after Katniss Everdeen destroys the entire Hunger Games at the end of Catch and Fire, there are no more Hunger Games. You know, the games, they're all gone now. It's now all about the revolution. Given by the leadership by President Coyne, who is portrayed by Julian Moore, Katniss Everdeen becomes the Mockingjay and must figure out a way to go save PETA. So going into Mockingjay Part 1, I honestly was pretty excited to see this movie because I thought the first Hunger Games was good. Yes, did it have its problems? Yeah, it's not a perfect movie. There were definitely issues with the movie, but at the same time, I still thought it was a well-done movie. It was a nice introduction to this whole series, but the sequel, Catching Fire, I thought was improvement over the original. It was more interesting, it was more darker, and it was a little more exciting, so I really liked Catching Fire. And so now going into Mockingjay Part 1, all I wanted was just a good movie, and that's exactly what I got out of Part 1. Jennifer Lawrence still does a very great job as Katniss Everdeen. Not only is she just a beautiful actress, but she really is talented, and I felt like she was very strong as his character and then you also have Liam Hemsworth in which I thought he did a really good job too and then Philip Seymour Hoffman who does a very great job and man when you watch this movie it really is such a shame that this man passed away because what a talent he is and you know it's just such a shame but Philip Seymour Hoffman just did a terrific job and then you have the new edition of Julian Moore who portrays President Coyne and I thought she did a really good job and surprisingly she was very important like I, I thought coming into this movie she was just gonna be one of those characters that pops in here and there not having much but believe it or not she had had more screen time than I actually thought and she was actually important to the story and her character alone was actually very interesting. There's limited action and I really mean it's very limited. This movie is more of a slow burner because this is really a build-up to what we're gonna see in part two and honestly I didn't really mind the buildup because the storyline to me was still engaging. It still kept my attention, making me care about what's really going on. I also can't forget about Woody Harrelson, Stanley Tucci, Elizabeth Banks. Woody Harrelson's great. Stanley Tucci is really good. You don't get much of him though. And then Elizabeth Banks, she actually adds a little bit of the comedic relief here than she has in the previous installments. Another thing I do appreciate about part one is how it didn't really focus on the whole love triangle thing like with the first two movies because my issues with the first two movies was just the whole love triangle. I never thought it was necessary from the start of the series so I'm glad it didn't focus on it like yeah you'll get brief mentions about it but it's not really all that focused and it definitely does not detract from the main storyline. The movie also has beautiful cinematography. I thought it was shot very well. And then like I said, there is limited action to this movie, but when there is action, I was getting really into the action. How it was filmed was incredible. And brace yourselves, ladies and gentlemen, because Katniss Everdeen actually sings a song in this movie. And when she's singing the song, it actually sounds really good. And credit to Jennifer Lawrence, I actually thought she sang very beautifully for this one particular song that she had to sing. Now, my only flaws with Mockingjay Part 1 is that, I know there's gonna be criticism saying that this is a slow movie, and I could see why, but honestly, there was only a 10 minute mark in the movie that I thought was like, okay, it's dragging a little, let's pick up the pace. Even though Josh Hutcherson was good for the very limited screen time that he had, and all the scenes that involved him really wasn't that interesting to me because most of his screen time is actually just him inside a television screen. Also surprisingly, I didn't think the visual effects this time around looked all that good. They didn't look terrible or anything. They were serviceable. 
But the uh, visual effects, I thought they could have looked a little more better. I don't know if they kind of ran out of the budget because they're saving more of it for part two or anything like that. And even though I was really into Katniss Everdeen, because like I said, Jennifer Lawrence does a great job with the character. I felt Katniss Everdeen herself didn't really develop some kind of character change. It felt like she was the same character from the beginning to the end. You maybe we'll get that in part two, but in part one, I just felt like her character didn't really get some kind of growth. Overall though, I thought Mockingjay part one was a very solid and a very well done movie. The storyline for the most part does a good job of keeping me engaged, very interested. The acting was great. The cinematography looks beautiful. Some could say some of the things that happened during the buildup are pointless and I can understand why, but it honestly worked for me and this is coming from someone that hasn't read the book for Mockingjay. So I'm gonna give Mockingjay part one a solid three out of four stars. So everyone in the comments down below, let me know, what did you think of Mockingjay part one? Did you think a part one was necessary for this or do you think it could have been one whole movie? So everyone, this is 22 Tiger Dude and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power. <laughs> I can't whistle, so that's why I made that weird noise.